I had been purposely letting this hair grow out um, so that I could demonstrate a blown coat. Um, it had been rolled, but now it's been a few months and the outer coat all needs to get pulled. You can see that by the fact that, that it's lifting, um, it's not laying flat on the body. When you pull, it comes out very, very easily. That's, a well, that's what's called a blown coat and it needs to get raked. So the area of the dogs that get stripped is the head from behind the, the eyebrows, where the corner of the eye is, all of this back, down. You're going down to the elbow approximately, and you're leaving approximately a third of the front of the leg on the chest. All of this is getting pulled. So down to the elbow, the line is the elbow to here. You can feel this dent in here. That, so that's your line. So all of this is stripped, and again, it's down to the hop. In an American style grooming, you would you would leave your skirt area, your underline, a little higher, and it would go to the back of the hop, and you'd leave this front hair. In a German style grooming, the entire top part of the leg down to the hock is stripped. I roll coat. I don't strip the dog down to the skin and allow it to grow back all at one length. I work the coat on a regular basis so that there's always hair of different length in the coat. The first thing I do is rake out undercoat. Uh, you wouldn't want to do this just before a show because you need to demonstrate that the dog has a double coat. But if you if you use a, something like a coat king, it rakes undercoat out and it also cuts some of the dead hair. The reason for that is that you're pulling some of it and you're leaving some of it to do in a week or two that's a little bit shorter so that you're always having coat of different length. You don't need to do this if you've been continuously rolling coat and you're not already working with a one length coat. The Coat King, you have to, they come in different numbers of blades and different ones work better with different coats according to how thick it is, how straight it is. You have to try them on your dog. I have a selection because I work on a lot of different types of, of, of giant coats. So you're just dragging it through the coat and you'll see that you're getting a lot of that dead stuff out. Before you start actual stripping, this will save you a lot of work with the stripping. And it doesn't hurt, he's just a puppy <laughs> that thinks it's a game. So you're raking out a lot of that dead coat, just as if you were you were brushing it or, or, or pulling stuff out of a, a shepherd or, or a normal shedding dog. You're getting some of that extra stuff out. So down to the elbow, you're doing the entire jacket of the dog. 10 minutes of working the coat with a coat king will produce, on a hard coat, a week, will produce something that looks like this. Oh, this isn't completely stripped. It, need, it still needs all the, some dead coat fold and, and that sort of thing, but it's, it's a lot better looking than if you clipper a hard coat. It takes about half an hour to an hour per week on a soft coat to maintain the, the coat at this length as well. Okay, the next step would be to, to actually strip coat. Okay. You're going to just brush the hair up on the dog so that the dead longer hair sticks up. You're taking your thumb and you're grabbing it against the stripping knife. There's a variety of stripping knives. You have to find what works for you and what's comfortable in your hand and what works with the coat type that you're working with. And you're pulling some hair. Try not to pull in one spot continuously. You're working your way around the coat. Getting all that dead stuff that you've lifted. When you're learning to do this, you don't do it just before a show. If you make a coat, a hole in the coat when you're practicing, it grows back in a week. You won't have a they won't look moth eaten. Um, so the time to practice is bef long before you start a show career. Show slowly the how do you do it. Slowly. I 
I do all of the easy stuff, the body areas first before I go into any of the blending areas. Camo.